In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract text, numbers, and punctuation in Google Sheets. Now there's a lot of different formulas that you can use to do this with, and I'm going to show you some in this video, but if you want to go into more detail and find the exact formula that you need, or to copy and paste any of the formulas that you see in this video into your own sheet, then I've linked the article for this video for you below. Now we're going to use the regex replace and the regex extract functions quite a bit in this video because those are the main functions that you'll use to extract with in Google Sheets. But there's also a variety of other formulas that I want to teach you that way you'll be able to extract in whatever type of way that you want. So let's go ahead and get started with this first example where we're going to use the split function to extract numbers. Now when we use the split function to extract, it's going to actually split our results into individual columns, hence the name split. And so the individual consecutive strings of numbers that are found within our source string or our source data will be split into individual columns. And in this case, you'll see them in columns C, D, and E. Now, when we're extracting with the split function, what we wanna do is specify all of the characters that we do not want in our criteria so that the characters that we do want are displayed in our results or our output. And so since we're trying to extract numbers in this case, in our criteria, we want to specify all of the characters that are not numbers, which means text and punctuation. Now it's important to note that with the split function, uppercase letters and lowercase letters are treated differently. And so to make sure that both versions of letters, both lowercase and uppercase, are covered in your criteria, you'll either need to type each letter of the alphabet twice, once for lowercase and once for uppercase, or you can do what I've done here and use the lower function to wrap around your source range so that any uppercase letter that was found in the source range is turned into lowercase. This way you'll only be able, you're, you'll only have to type each letter of the alphabet once into your criteria in lowercase version. Now you can use this same split function to extract text as well and to do this you'll simply specify in your criteria any character that is not text which is numbers and punctuation. In some cases you might want to extract a specified number of characters starting at a specified position and so I'm going to show you how to use the mid function which will allow you to do exactly that. In this example, what we want to do is extract one character starting at the third character. So how we're going to do that is enter our mid function and then type our source range and then a comma and then type the position that we want to start at, which in this example is three, and then type another comma and then type the length of the segment to extract or the number of characters that you want to extract, which in this case is one. And so that function will give us the third character of each of these strings, or in other words, one character starting at the third character or the third position. Another way that you can use the mid function is in conjunction with the len function. And so instead of specifying the number of characters that you want to extract, you'll use the len function to allow the mid function to extract the remaining number of characters starting at the position that you specified. So in this example, what we want to do is extract all of the characters that are left after the 11th position in each of the strings. And so how we'll do that is enter the mid function and then just like normal, enter the source range. And then just like normal, put a comma and then type the position that you want to start at. But where you would normally enter the number of characters that you want to extract or the length of the segment that you want to extract, in this case, we're going to use the len function and point it at the source range so that the mid function will actually tell us the remaining characters starting at the 11th character. So let's go ahead and get started with using the regex replace function to extract. 
Now it's important to note that when using regex replace or regex extract to extract in Google Sheets, that you'll be using something called a character class. And it's these character classes that truly define how the formula will operate and what type of character that it's going to extract for you. But these character classes can sometimes be a little bit confusing because some of them have multiple ways that they can be written. And when you're searching online for how to extract numbers and text and things like that, you'll often run into what's called the shorthand version of the character class. And the problem with using these shorthand versions, even though they're so widely used, is that there's not a shorthand version for every different type of character class. There's actually some really important character classes that just don't have a shorthand version. And so if you're somebody who only uses shorthand versions, you'll likely run into a, scenar a scenario where you won't be able to extract the type of character that you need to. So that's why in this video, we're only using non-shorthand versions of the character classes, like you can see in the formula bar where it says digit. So in this example, what we want to do is extract numbers from a string. And to do this, what we want to do is replace any non-number with an empty string. And so you can see in our formula that we've specified all non-digits to be replaced with an empty string. So if you take anything that is not a number and replace it with an empty string, all that you'll be left with are numbers. Now in this example specifically, you can see that we've also used the value function. We've wrapped the entire regex replace function in the value function so that our output will be interpreted as being an actual number format. We want to make sure that the string of digits that we're outputting with the regex replace function is an actual number format. Now we're going to use the regex replace function to extract text. And so in this example, what we want to do is replace all non-text characters with an empty string. And so if you take a string of numbers and text and punctuation, etc., and replace anything that is not text with nothing, then all you'll be left with is text. In this example, we're going to use the regex replace function to remove punctuation, or in other words, to extract non-punctuation. And so how we're going to do this is replace all punctuation characters with an empty string. Now we're going to move on to using the regex extract. Now we're going to move on to using the regex extract function where instead of specifying a certain type of character that we want to replace, we're going to directly specify the character that... <clears throat> now, we're gonna, now we're gonna move on to using the regex extract function, where instead of designate a certain... Now we're gonna move on to using the regex extract function, where instead of designating the type of character that we want to replace, we're designating the type of character that we want to directly extract. And so in this example, we're going to extract the first name or the first word from a cell. And so how we're going to do this is enter non-spaces as our criteria or as our character class in the regex extract function. And so if we are extracting the first string of characters that are not a space, this will give us the first word, or in other words, the first name of a cell. Now here's another function that you can use to perform the same task as the last example, where we extract the first name or the first word of a cell. But in this case, you can use the left function and the find function. You can also use the regex extract function to extract the characters that appear before a specified suffix. And so in this example, what we're going to do is extract any character that appears before the suffix code for those strings that actually contain the suffix code. And so how we're going to do this is use the regex extract function and use the character class print 
and then we'll put parentheses around our character class and then simply type the suffix code. And when we use the function like this, it will extract any character that appears before the suffix code. Now here's another formula that you can use to extract characters that appear before a suffix. And so we're going to achieve the same task as in the last example, but we're going to use a different formula. And so in this case, you can use the left function along with the search function to extract the characters that appear before a specified suffix. In this example, we're going to extract only the first character from each string. And so again, we're going to use the character class non-spaces, but in this example, you'll notice that we have not provided a plus sign with a character class. And when using the regex extract function specifically, when we do not use a plus sign with a character class, it will only return one character in the output. And so we've returned the first non-space character in each string. Now here's a fairly long formula that you can use in case you need to extract the last name from a cell or the last word. In some cases, you might want to actually be able to specify which word that you want to extract from a cell or a string. And so you can actually do this by using the index function with the split function. And so in this example, what we've done is specified that we want to extract the first word from each string or each cell. And you can actually change this number to any number that you like. And so in the formula that I have entered in cell C4, if we change the 1 to a 2, we've now specified that we want to extract the second word from that string or from the string that it refers to in cell A4. If we change the 2 to a 3, now we've specified that we want to extract the third word from the string that appears in cell A4. And in this last example, I'll show you the left function where you can specify how many characters that you want to extract from the left side of a string. Now, you can use this same type of process with the right function if you want to extract from the right side of a string. But in this example, we're using the left function, and we've specified that we want to extract two characters from the left side of the string that is in cell A3. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to learn a lot more ways to extract and be able to copy and paste any of the formulas that you've seen in this video into your own sheet, then I've linked the article for this video below.